Billy, a frustrating afternoon from a Gloucester point of view. Yeah, um, boys are bitterly disappointed. We really um, backed ourselves to come down here and get a result. You know, conditions suited us, and you know, we showed a lot of ambition, but you know, execution let us down, and it seems to be the story of the year this, uh, this year. So, um, <clears throat> from that point of view, disappointing, but you know, we can take a lot of positives from it in terms of our ambition and you know, the way we wanted to play the game. But we just got to be harder on ourselves in terms of execution, and you know, when we're leaking tries from poor decisions or missed tackles, that you know, it's not acceptable. It's fine margins, isn't it? Sometimes I, I know it maybe sounds an easy excuse, but um, you know interceptions, forward passes given, and just that fraction they go the other way, and there's momentum in the game. Yeah, and we've got to be smarter as players to react better. Then when you know we make a mistake, we've got to we've got to come out of a positive, or if we do something well, we've got to back it up again and again. And we're not doing that at the moment. And um, you know we're, we're leaning the other way in terms of our mistakes. So um, you can't do that against good opposition. And um, on days like today, so. You know, to be eight points within it at the end, and we've done some really poor things in the game. It's, I suppose, a bit of a positive, but um, it's also gutting because we know where we could have come from. So, um, you know, the boys are bitterly disappointed, but you know, we can only be hard on ourselves and get better from it. And um, you know, like I said, it's, it's very disappointing. You seem to be able to cope with some of the Wasps' group physicality today, like driving more and things cope with that pretty well. But they they put some big runners on some incisive lines, didn't they? Made one-up tackles quite difficult. Yeah, they did, but you know, they're, 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 we should be stopping them, and we we know what they were going to bring, and we knew what they were going to bring from from two weeks ago, and you know, we dealt with their drive well, and but you know, from our point of view, our, our line out didn't function as well as we could, and you know, we missed first up tackles, and like I said, we you can't afford to do that in in this in this top top side of the game. I think when you're playing against a good opposition week in week out, you need to have, be on the front foot and. You're making good decisions and execution's got to be perfect. And you know, if you don't do that, then teams capitalise. And what did that say with us? And you know, that's that's the most disappointing thing. Frustration as well, not being able to take advantage of the yellow cards that Wasps conceded today. Yeah, I think yeah, you know, whatever reason that they happened, I think we've got to be smart on the pitch and you know, identify to use them. But you know, nothing changes from our point of view. We still want to play the same game and squeeze opposition and. You know, pick them off and you know, squeeze them in terms of getting them into their 22 and pressurising them, getting points, and you know, we get into the position and then we'll do something silly and lose the ball or you know, we'll get a turnover and we can't be, we can't afford to do that. And that's what the top teams do very well; they capitalise on these opportunities. When you say play smart, it's difficult sometimes to change a style. Gloucester play from all sorts of different areas of the field, and we hear the opposition players taking that as a threat, but sometimes it causes problems for yourselves. Yeah, it does cause problems, but I think that they're easily fixable. I think it's it's more us not getting in the right areas or you know being smart in the breakdown. I think that's where it's won and lost a lot of the time. And if we're not gonna, if we want to play this game, we've got to be smart there in terms of looking after our own ball and be very reactive and you know proactive as well. I think we know the way we want to play the game and you know it gets us into great positions on the field and you know we're just not capitalising on the opportunities that we should when you know there's lots lots of. You know, places to go out there, and we're creating opportunities, and we've got the ball players, and you know, the backs to finish them off. We're just not quite there yet. Been a topsy turvy season, and makes it difficult to keep players online and lift them. Difficult yeah. running now for the rest of the season. Yeah, it's difficult, but you know, we'll approach it exactly the same as we we would have done two, three weeks ago. We're going to go at it 100 percent, and you know, go at it, and there's you know, there's possibly 10 points we can get from the next two games, and we'll go at it and give it our absolute all. And you know, that's why we love playing for Gloucester. We'll go out there and give it our all, and looking forward to it. Thanks for your time, Billy. Thank you. Cheers.